experience that helped then. But you did show this initial dramatic increase. <laughs> Can you explain that in any way? Well, I think it was because, um, being very frightened of it, I'd got my eyes closed. And I decided, come on, don't be such a coward, open them. And I opened them, but at exactly the wrong moment. Because as I opened them, I was right at the top, and I don't like heights. And it felt like the world was, was way down below me. But uh, your heart rate did hit a high of 185 beats per minute, <laughs> which is incredible. I mean, a marathon runner wouldn't have a heart rate of that, uh, of that level. It's an amazing reaction. And that was during the first drop, during the three and, a, three and a half G. Then the corkscrew itself was less worrying, and you steadily recovered after that. Near the end, perhaps it was some anticipation of what was going to happen to you when you finished the ride and the cameras pointing at you and things like that. I don't think it was so much the cameras as the thought that I was going to have that blood test. I, 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 my, I think my, my mind went, oh, isn't that nice, that's over. And I thought, oh, no, I've got that blood test. Mm. So how come some people enjoy the sensations of the ride and others just don't? I think the blood analysis might give us some indication of that. We have three samples here. These are representative of the adrenaline levels that we found with the three individuals in mm -hmm. question. We have Ellen with the lowest level of adrenaline. She enjoyed it most. Yes. Uh, you were in between. <laughs> and the one who found it a painful experience, the most the highest level of adrenaline. So really what you're saying is the, to find the ride that suits you most. It should be one that excites you, but without making you produce so much adrenaline that it terrifies you silly. That's exactly right. And on the basis of this, I would say that you should stick to dodgems. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can keep your high technology thrills. This is good enough for me. That's all from the Show Me Show. Bye for now. More surprises from the Show Me Show next Wednesday, slightly earlier, at 6.30. This is BBC One with Autumn Entertainment. And who's this well-known personality? You've got a bit of a job on your hands here, you know. Now, a touch of the means, a touch of the movies, and a lot of the magnificent. Can you try to capture that blend of intellectual cheek, but go heavier on the intellect and lighter on the cheeks? and not too nosy. Yes, it's Russell Harty. Well, we've had breakfast TV, we've had schools TV, we've got lunchtime TV, we have late night TV, but what we don't have so far is cocktail TV, apéro TV. So we shall aim to revolutionize your home life every Tuesday and every Wednesday in the early evening with a bit of bounce and a bit of bubble. Lie back, plug in, switch on, and we shall attempt to reach those parts of you you never even knew existed. Cheers. The new Hearty Show, Autumn Entertainment, on BBC One. Now on BBC One, we bring home the bacon with a saucy and scintillating superstar in the fantastic Miss Piggy Show. Ladies and gentlemen, the fantastic Miss Piggy Show. Maybe very good. <laughs> 